I'm taking part in Keith Brown's Make a Bowl Without a Lathe Challenge. So I'm going to use the chainsaw to cut a couple of bowl blanks out of this piece of totra. Uh, this is a New Zealand native wood which came off the trees in my backyard. I thought about whether he would laugh at my jokes or buy me socks for Christmas. Would he care if I bought hand planes from garage sales that don't even have blades? And, well, I decided, no, I don't want to get a divorce for Keith Brown's bowl without a lathe challenge. So I waited until my wife went out before I carried the flaming smoky piece of wood through the house and put it in the fireplace. When I heard her car coming up the driveway, I grabbed my piece of wood and my matches and scurried off behind my workshop. It only took a few minutes with a heat gun to get up to about 2,000 degrees. And it was heaps more fun. I tried using a hand saw and the table saw to flatten the base, but in the end I just set a straight cut bit to about a half mil depth and used the router like a mini grinding wheel. I set my saw blade to maximum depth of cut and cut off whatever I could off the sides of the log. This more or less determines the height of my bowl.
Now that I have some pretty flat reference surfaces, I set a square on my jig and set forth cutting the ring off the top of the log. As soon as the bark's gone off this thing, I guess I'll start calling it a bowl. And no, I don't have a bandsaw. I only have two half days to get it all done. This is the morning of day two and I'm going to grab a coffee and go out and do some work. Okay, we have a bowl. So the next thing to do is to mark this out and cut it into a hexagonal shape. Currently it has seven sides, so I guess it's septagonal. I have to get rid of one of these sides. So I've just put a rough guide on my workbench. 120 degrees. So I've trimmed it down into a hexagon and I have all the angles correct at 120 degrees but um, the sides are slightly different lengths in some cases so now that I have opposite faces parallel to each other I can just run it through the table saw to fine tune the length of the sides that are um, a little bit out. Kind of like this. I know it's not perfect, but...
Well, it's been a bit of a mad rush. But this piece of firewood got a reprieve. And turned into this. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm just polishing up the wax now. And uh, I think it's okay. designing and making a bowl without a lathe. I thought it'd be an interesting project to open up to other people to see what sort of ideas people come up with and I'd like to try and create a playlist of all of the videos and hopefully we can all help to promote each other's YouTube channels.